Hey, good afternoon, good morning. I don't know what time it is, but I think it's the morning still. It's Gaming Jim here with Graded Power, and today we are going to do a unboxing video of an order I got back from BGS. So we're going to open this bad boy and show you what we got. Um, once again, I don't know my fun-filled grades, but I will try to figure this out. So... Now the great part about these is that if you're interested in any of these, let me know immediately because I'm going to sell these. Because these are some stuff that... You know, unboxing is always fun. Maybe I should pre-unbox it before. Alright. So. But if you don't know who I am, it's Gaming Jim from Graded Power. We're going to be doing this, showing out some good cards, and let's see what we got. Oh, we get all the fun stuff in here. We get cards. Advertisements. I never put any advertisements on this. Cheap. Anyway, what we got? Uh, baseball card stuff. More stuff. Oh, this is a good one. We love this guy. It's Mike Plate. And Mike makes some awesome carrying cases for your BGS um, cards. Yeah, probably PSA as well. But these are sturdy. We have some here. Um, these are great. Always a good thing. Mike, thanks for making an awesome product. Appreciate it. So, alright. Got an invoice. We don't need that. Um, and the first card that we got is a Beta Mox Emerald 7.5. Centering is a 9, corners are a 7, edges are an 8.5, and a 7.5 on surface. Recently I had a chance to get some Beta cards and I decided to get them graded. So, alright, that's the first one we got. What is this? This is some other crap on my desk. Alright, next. Ooh, another beta card. This one is a Mox Sapphire. It is graded 8.5, centering a 9.5, edges at 8.5, corners an 8.5, and surface a 9.5. Now, like I said before, if anybody likes any of these cards or are interested, uh, you can message me. I will be happy to sell these today because I got so much more graded stuff coming in. All right, up next, another beta card, a Beta Mox Pearl, 8.5. Center an 8, edges an 8.5, corners an 8.5, and surface a 9.5. Next up, we have a Beta Ancestor Recall. Hmm, it's only a 7. That's sad. Edges an 8.5. I'm sorry, centering an 8.5. Edges a 7, corners a 7.5, and surface a 6. What did I miss on that card? Must be a scratch. Or something. But still a nice card. Always good to have an the Power 9 with you, Ancestor Recall. So, it's very nice, you know. I would just keep showing the card because, you know, when you can draw three cards or force an opponent to draw three cards, that's pretty amazing for a one drop. Back in my day, I played that card all the time. Oh, yeah, my day was like 27 years ago. All right. Here we go. This is an eight in a beta. I don't know if it's a good card. Maybe you guys can help me out. I'm not going to tell you the card. I'm just going to show you the back of it forever and just let you think about it and what could it be. But it's a good card. So it is a Beta Black Lotus, an 8. So our grades on this one is centering 9.5, which is great. Edges an 8, corners a 7.5, and surface a 9.5. I think they graded it okay. Maybe it could have been an 8.5, but we'll take what we get. That's how it works. 
You guys all know this is the holy grail of cards, and if you don't, then the Alpha Black Lotus, the Beta Black Lotus, and the Unlimited Black Lotus are pretty awesome. You know, zero cost to get three mana. Now, since we got a nice card like that, if you guys don't know, Graded Power makes these awesome acrylic holders, a case for your case card. I know, it seems pathetic, but on an expensive card like that, and then we have a nice stand, just like that, and we can put it right there, and check that out, so. All right, going back, we have another beta card. This is a beta time walk, 8.5, centering out of a 9.5, edges of an 8.5, corners of an 8.5, and surface, you know. I actually think they undergraded this card from just looking at it real quickly. It looks very, very nice. Um, I mean, I can see where they're edge wear, but the corners look good, but who knows? You get what you get these days and you're happy about it. So especially when we don't have, we have an unguaranteed service and the prices went up. So, but this did come back. I did send these out today. So they did come back in a timely manner. Uh, there was no problem with the service, even though it wasn't guaranteed, I still got them. So, all right, next up, I'll take this grade. I will take a beautiful Mox Ruby Beta 9. Center a 9, edges a 9, corners 8.5, surface a 9. So. Alrighty. Another Power 9 card. Here we have a Beta Mox Jet 9. Oh, and this one is a good 9 because it's center of a 9, edges of a 9, corners of a 9, and surface of a 9.5. So we have a Quad Plus Beta Mox Jet 9. Quad Plus. That's a very pretty card. Very pretty. So if you need a Beta Mox Jet 9, you know where to go today. All right, so now we're gonna change the, the tone, go a little down in the evolutionary scale of magic and go to unlimited, because you know, that's how it works. But here we have an unlimited ancestor recall. Nine, centering a nine, edges an 8.5, corners a 9.5, and surface a nine. Very clean card, it's always nice. Unlimited ancestor recall nine. So, hope everybody enjoys that. That's a nice card. Remember, got a nice black lotus over here. Anybody on there, Morgan, today? Anybody seeing us? Um, we have eight viewers now. Nobody. Well, hi to all my small eight followers. There should be like thousands of you, but I don't know why. Wow. How you guys doing today? Are you guys having a great day today? Are you? Because I know I'm having a great day today. I'm having an awesome day today. I have a card in my hand. I am very happy. You know, I don't usually get too happy. I'm thick skinned, I don't have emotion. But today, oh, this is a beautiful card because it says 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5. That is a 9.5 total grade with a quad. And there's no further ado here. It's an unlimited Lotus quad, 9.5. Wow, I'm happy. That's a great card. That is a wonderful grade. You could get a little better with a quad plus or a quad plus plus or a 10, but I will take a really nice, really nice quad 9.5. I don't know if our cameraman can get really close up and check that out, but that card is pretty. So pretty. Pretty. I mean, even if I was to dress up in a tuxedo, I wouldn't be as pretty as this card so it is beautiful 9.5 quad unlimited lotus i mean that is just whew, may have to take something to calm my nerves is that volume volume something like that all right well that's that's pretty that that's so pretty it's gonna go right here that that that's pretty 
Wow. I'm happy about that. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm still happy about that. All right. Let's go back to the real world. And we have a Mox Pearl Unlimited. That is graded a lonely old nine. The center of an 8.5, edges of a 9.5, corners of a 9.5, and surface of a 9.5. Still a nice card. Very clean, very pretty. You don't see a lot of near mint cards these days. It's, you know, we've been around 27 years. These have been out of print for 26 years, you know. And we all know that, like I said, Alpha was the first, Betas were the second, and the last of the Power 9 came in unlimited. Just mute it. What? Decline. Yeah, all right. Well, we do live videos, we do get phone calls. I apologize about that. So, I'm having a good grading day. That's all I'm going to tell you, because I'm very happy with another centering 9.5, edges 9.5, corners 9.5, and a surface of 9.5, an overall grade of 9.5, and it is a quad. If, I assume everybody here knows what a quad is. If you do not, it's, you know, all four 9.5s or anything higher, and then we get pluses. Uh, once again, I'm just going to say, ta-da! Who says that anymore? Yes! A 9.5 quad Mox Sapphire Unlimited. That is a beautiful card. That is a slick card. That is nice. Anytime you get a quad or higher, it's just really great. And I keep saying that because it's awesome. Awesome. Anyway. All right. Back to the daily grind. Yes. And it's actually true. My daily grind every day is playing with magic cards. That's what I do. Other people do other things, I get to play with cards. Back to the real world again. Uh, it is a quad plus plus, but it's only a nine. Centering a nine, edges a nine, corners a 9.5, and the surface of a 9.5. And we're gonna bring you a time walk. This beautiful card done by Amy Weber. Very nice, we always love that art. Um, another pretty card here, quad plus plus nine. You know, basically uh, one away from being a 9.5. Damn centering. But anyway, another nice card. All right. Another lonely 9. Centering 8.5, edges 9.5, corners a 9.5, surface a 9.5. Wow. My centering could only get a little better, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing at all. But... Mox Jet Unlimited, nine. If we could only get that 8.5 centering to a nine, but it is off-centered by a hair. You can see it. I'm blind as a bat. I'm horrible with off-center. I can't even draw a straight line with a T-square. All right. Here we have an unlimited Mox Emerald that is a nine, but it's got a center of a nine, edges of a nine, corners of a 9.5, and surface of a 9.5, so it gets to be a quad plus plus. A quad plus plus. So if anybody sees any cards they like and they want to make me offers, I'm up to making offers today because I'm in a good mood. That doesn't happen very often. All right, whoa. Thank God there's no cards left in that box as we jump, jump it off the table. Our last card. I'm gonna say it's still a decent grading day. Centering of a nine, edges of a 9.5, corners of a 9.5, and surface of a 9.5. You don't see too many of these 9.5. It is a great card. I love this card. It's a great playable card. I just like guys giving you lots of drama not telling what it is. Here's a 9.5 Time Twister. And we know everybody loves playing Time Twisters in uh, EDH now, so. Or Commander. I'm old, I say EDH. That's how old I am, folks. Old. God, I remember when there was Type 1.5. Anyway, so here we got some awesome cards. Um, I mean, we just can't get better than some of the grades we got today just pretty amazing what we got I mean you see these two cards over here so that's what I opened today I hope you guys all liked it 
Now remember, we have this beautiful case right here. Uh, graded Power and myself, which I am Graded Power, um, have designed uh, what we call display guards to protect your investments. They're beautiful, they're acrylic cases. They work for packs, they work for starter decks, they work for booster boxes. You can, uh, we even have stands for your BGS cards. We have stands for your, uh, we have cases even for your graded cards. So everything is awesome um, to protect your stuff. You can always get this on our website, um, gradedpower.com. Uh, I do manufacture these personally. Well, not personally, I don't go to the factory and make them, but I have them made. Anyway, I don't know really what to say today. When you have a 9.5 quad Lotus of anything that's, a quad is always an amazing day. So hopefully when I walk on the street today, my amazing day, I won't get hit by a piano falling from a four story building. That does happen every once in a while. So I hope everybody likes what we did today. Um, if you didn't, I'm sorry. I try to be funny, but I'm not, um, you know. Um, I heard I heard from one of the people in the office that we have a little visitor that came and, uh, and decided to, uh, hang out and watch me cards because you know if I like this but if baby Yoda likes it back there you know it's a great card because you know he's awesome but anyway so all right remember guys I'm always on Facebook you can find me I'm the guy uh, walking around New York uh, half naked with a pizza in his hand but besides that um, if you need anything on magic cards anything at all um, accessories, uh, apparel, we got apparel, we got um, all types of stuff. I can't, oh, we got memorabilia. We got memorabilia. Come to gradedpower.com um, where we are home of the graded cards and we are also home of some of the greatest packaging you will ever see when we ship your cards. So somebody told me uh, it took them five minutes uh, to get their card out of a package because we taped it up and boxed it and put it in a pouch and sealed it with bubble wrap and you know then wrapped wax all around the box it was great but anyway you know I'm just having fun with you hey guys I do appreciate you uh seeing us here watch for more videos where you never know oh also if you don't know I am doing opening an antiquity box and selling the pack straight from a sealed box so we have uh like 40 some slots 35 slots left selling packs at 450 dollars two for four and a quarter each this way you can get a guaranteed unsearched old pack of antiquities um, we've done these before we will do it live we will show you we take it out we wrap it right up we put a seal on there and you're going to guarantee get an unsearched booster that no one's ever touched so look on my facebook page for more information about that and um, that's a great thing. So if you really would like a pack, knowing that it's guaranteed on search, we will have them. Um, we will only do this if we sell 50 or more packs. So, because I don't mind taking these and keeping them and selling at shows, but I want everybody to know these packs are guaranteed on search from the box to my hand to the packaging and then right shipped out that day to you. So, all right, thanks for joining me. Today's a lovely Thursday, and this is the first video that we've done that where it's not raining. Wow, it's not raining. This is great. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.